Welcome back, everybody. We are here again on the HTN uh, Food Review channel on YouTube. Um, today, I have um, some different food that I normally eat. Um, so this young lady who I used to work with at Wegmans, um, she also works at my eye doctor place now. And so she was like, yeah, I watch your videos all the time, but um, you don't do any healthy options. And I was like, you know what? What is preventing me from doing a healthy options? Now, I will start by saying that the two items that I got today are one is healthy and one is not. So um, I went to this place. Hopefully y'all can see it. And if y'all follow me on IG, Mr. Ham and Turkey. And if y'all follow me on Snapchat, you will see that I uh, posted this menu right here. So this is the, the place right here. So, um, this place is kind of unique because first and foremost, this is the only, this is exclusive to Rochester. So there are, aren't any other locations anywhere in the U.S., but there's only two locations here in Rochester. There's one out in Pittsburgh Plaza, right across the street from Wegmans, and there there's one in Eastview Mall. But what's unique about this restaurant is that um, they only use locally sourced products and ingredients only here in Western New York. And I'm always about, you know, bringing, you know, some type of notoriety or some type of love to uh, places and things that just show love to Rochester specifically. So I today have a turkey burger that I got and I have a pizza. This is the unhealthy option at the healthy place that I got. So, um, this is another Pam special. Pam recommended me to to uh, to look at this restaurant, so that's what I did. And so now I'm going to try it and food review it today for you guys. And I appreciate again everyone you know watching my videos and showing me love. Um, like I said, it never goes unnoticed, but I appreciate this. And again, keep you know liking this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, the Ham and Turkey Network. So I appreciate all the love. So we're going to get right into it. Um, you know, with all my food reviews, I have a special guest on today. And today we have no stranger to the Ham and Turkey Food Review channel. We have my guy, Mr. Miles. <laughs> Miles. Yes, sir. Um, he has again decided to come on and, and, and uh, do a food review with me today. Um, so, Miles, um, let's... Let me just get right to what I want to ask you because uh, you didn't text me, you didn't hit me, so uh, I, I guess I have to ask you in front of everybody. Like, you know, your game just came out, and you know the PS Five just came out. So, could you please explain to me, while I have you on my full reviews, I can't get a PS Five with your signature game? Well, last time I checked, Batman has more appearances than I do. Why don't you ask him to get you the right, game? Man. I guess that, I guess he come on here. And he just got jokes. You just acting different now. Whatever, man. So I'm gonna move Miles over here and we are gonna get right into this food review. So um, we're gonna do the turkey burger first. So like I said, I got a turkey burger um, on multi-grain bread with cheddar cheese, I think, or Swiss cheese is one that I got. I can't remember what I got, but here is a little bit of how it looks. You guys can't see it, but there's a big pickle in the back. Pause. And uh, here, let me take it out. Yeah, this is Swiss cheese. So this is this is Swiss cheese. So here you go. Hopefully y'all can see, see this burger. This is a burger. But if it's on bread, does it count as a burger? You know, I don't know. So I don't know. So. I'm definitely not going to eat this pickle. I'm not really a big pickle guy. Pause again. Um, you know, got to have my trusty H-Factor order. Like I told you guys, H-Factor shows me love. They sent me a care package. If you follow me on IG, you will see that they sent me a care package. And they sent me a bunch of waters. They sent me a bunch of pouches. They sent me some flavor waters. They also sent me, sent me water that's in a can now. Now, I'm not a big you know, can guy, because it gives me too many, too many pop vibes, you know, like, like I'm drinking a soda, but uh, they gave it to me for free, so I'm not going to complain, but uh, you know, no food review on the Ham and Turkey Network is complete without H Factor Water, so we're going to get into this burger, and again, this is a turkey burger on multi-grain bread um, with Swiss cheese, so I'm going to take a bite of this now, so Ham and Turkey, 
Network Food Review, Root 31, first bite. There's no other ham and turkey, no pun intended. We do second bite, not first. So here we go, here's the second bite. Route 31, turkey burger with Swiss cheese. And let me not forget, they have a sriracha remoulade sauce. I am a big fan of remoulade sauce, so I'm gonna get another bite of this, here we go. So, um, for me, they didn't put enough remoulade sauce on that thing, but I can't take hate on the actual burger. The actual burger is pretty good. It's not the best turkey burger I've ever had, but it's on the it's on the good side though. Like no no question about it. it's on the good side. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give it like a it's a solid eight. It's a it's a good turkey burger. You know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not tripping off that. Let me take a sip of this water. Ah, whoo, man, smooth as ever. Remember, H Factor water. Go get you one. And if you would like to purchase H Factor water, I'm gonna leave one of my affiliate links in my description to take you there. They have a 20 ounce pouch now, so you can purchase a bigger pouch if you've been drinking it already. I know some people have told me that they've tried the water and they've liked it. So there's a bigger 20 ounce pouch now. So if you want to purchase that, look in the description in this video on YouTube and purchase the 20 ounce pouch and tell me about it. Tell me how you feel. Let me take one more swig of this. Okay, we're going to get into this pizza. Not going to lie, man. This whole food review is kind of counterproductive. Bruh. I mean, it is a healthier option. Place, but I mean, I had to get what I like and I like pizza. I always eat pizza. You clearly miss the healthier options part, right, like whatever. clearly. Miles is hating because I got pizza instead of a healthy option. The turkey burger was a healthy option. So now we get into the pizza. So on this pizza, I got chorizo, sausage, chorizo sausage, regular Italian sausage, pepperoni, and bacon. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a pizza like this. Excuse me, so I haven't unboxed it yet, so I'm going to unbox it right in front of you guys, and I'm going to show you what it looked like. So, that's pretty solid. Hopefully, I can see. I like the square nature of that thing. You know, bring it a little closer. Hopefully, y'all can see that. So, that's that's the pizza from Route 31. Um, it's cut nicely. Oh, man. Okay, cut it into squares for me. So I looks really good. I I am not gonna front. This looks too good actually. So um, we gonna get right into this. So here is the pizza from Route Thirty One. First bite. Not gonna lie, man. For them not specializing in pizza, this pizza is pretty good, man. I, I, I'm not even gonna front. They also have a a gluten free dough option. I didn't get the op, the gluten free dough just because they was all talking about oh we gotta unfreeze the dough and all that. And I'm not a stickler, you know what I mean. So I was just like you know what, just give me the regular pizza. So I wasn't tripping or nothing like that, but. I'm gonna I'm get back in this. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take another bite. Y'all, I took two bites already, but I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one more because that's 
That was pretty good. I want to confirm what I tasted. So, Miles is going to watch because he know he can't have any pizza. So, here we go. Second bite. Route 31. Pizza. Second bite. Here we go. So, one thing I like, I know I told you guys on my other few reviews that it's tough to judge a pizza that is a specialty pizza because you can literally customize it to the way you want, but there's literally no way you couldn't like it because you've customized it the way that you prefer, but I had to get this pizza and... Based on the first bite and the second bite, everything was consistent. This, the red sauce was good. The toppings are cooked in perfectly. Nothing's really falling off. I know you've seen that pepperoni hanging off just a little bit, but other than that, the pizza is really good. The way it looks is good. Crust isn't burnt. Like, I'm going to say this pizza is a solid, it's a solid nine, man. It's not Carbone's level. Like it's it's not that it's not that good, but it is good nonetheless, and it's high level. It's a high level, so I got a eight on the turkey burger. I got a nine on the pizza. I paid a grand total of thirty two seventy for both of these. So this was the biggest pizza that they sold. It's called a grande, and then it's an extra three dollars for all the toppings you get on it. So I think with all that combined. I would give this overall meal a solid, I'd say this is a solid like eight, nine. Like this is, this was a good meal. Like, excuse me, this pizza is hearty. The turkey burger is, 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 is good. It's not great, but I mean, everything, I mean, the pizza is really what is the, the center of this thing. It's the, it's the, uh, the centerpiece of this meal. Like, if anyone went and got their grande pizza, I don't think they would be um, disappointed. So um, as far as I'm, me keeping the menu, I'm definitely going to keep this menu because there are more options on here that I want to try. Again, this is Root 31. Now, Root is spelled R-O-O-T 31. So there's more healthy options on here. This is really what this thing is. But I think what they want to get across is that all the ingredients that they use is locally sourced here in Western New York. So I think that's also a great thing to to want to advertise so again i paid 3270 i'm giving the score an eight uh eight nine excuse me an eight nine and um yeah I, I appreciate you guys always you know watching my videos um liking them subscribing to my youtube channel i appreciate all the love that you guys send me again um if you guys want to purchase the cans of h factor water or the 20 ounce pouch i'm gonna leave my affiliate link in my description and my videos on YouTube and please purchase if you really like the water. Again, I want to thank my guest, Mr. Miles Morales today. Hopefully next time I do a full review with him, I'll have my PS5 and I'll have my Spider-Man game. Probably so not. Again, thank you to everyone. I don't want to forget to say to like and subscribe to my YouTube channels on YouTube. Now I appreciate all the love and tune in again next Thursday. For